Magnificent that they come round. Looking for Gray. Away we go. Final up into turn number one. Trying to get ourselves in some order. By the young, young, young Triffitt. Oh, oh. Racing. This is Alexander on his outside. That's that on the third. Our leader is Laura Davison. Got a couple of car links too. Back to Robbie Bird. And it's Alexander Leon Cleary now. Is alongside the youngster, young Triffitt. They're side by side. Out of turn two off the back straight. Here comes Wayne Dillon in 48. I did see something with that car. Whoa! Was, uh, was Alexander's sun. gone. That's, that's clearing. Yellows will come on. Pokey went with him. Give him a down time. We're set to go. We've only completed one lap, so plenty of time left in this one. Laura Davison is our leader, and we are green. We certainly are. Laura Davison stands on that loud pedal. Robbie Bird. Marcus Alexander. Back to Jay Trippett, Leon Berry. Wayne Dillon, Brett Dawkins, Tim Johnson, Andrew Pope. Pope just to brush the wall down there. As Alexander gets super racy on the inside of Robbie Bird. Bird holds him at bay. Then we go to the short gap back to Jake Trivett. And he's got Leon Leary, Wayne Dillon, Brett Dawkins, Tim Johnson. Another short gap back to Andrew Pope behind him. Doing an awesome job is young Trivett. Holding down fourth and some vastly experienced competitors behind him. And over to put in the challenges. Pokey again. It's got a bother down there. Here's the move from Alexander. Been watching that race between those two, Alexander and Robbie Bird, for a few laps now. They've been side by side. Fair amount of the time. Great scrap. Robbie Bird now gets control of that. Set out and try and chase down Laura Davis and she leads the way. She's about to come up on a lap car. First one she gets to will be Pokey and problems for Robbie Bird. Got off the pedal, now back on it again, so not sure what that was about. Now leader is Laura Davis. Coming around now to put lap number six. There will be four to go. We've lost Jay Trippin. Trippin out, so that's... Oh, I'm giving Ticket sellers, we'll talk to Guy at the conclusion of this one. Still got five laps to go. We're standing on the loud pedal. Laura Davis, Marcus Alexander, Robbie Bird, fire up into turn one. Wayne Dillon, Leon Ferry, Brett Dawkins, Tim Johnson and Jake Trippett at the rear. Fire out of the Wiley goal, pit turn again. Here's the move from Dillon on. Bird couldn't get it done. Certainly made his intentions now. Laura Davis just is starting to stretch away. Very handy buffer at the moment. So it's almost out to a second. As Alexander and Bird still fighting like a bag of cats. It is out to over a second. Oh, collision! Bird and Alexander have reached out another course. Yeah, you can really get off to the top sheet medal of the Lions Club canteen. The green flag about to wave. We've still got three laps left in this one. Laura Davis is the home's entry. She's controlled it from the get-go. Marcus Alexander, Wayne Dillon, Leon Cleary, Brett Dawkins, Tim Johnson, and Jade Trippett has rejoined. Come out of the Wiley Tower pit turn. And there'll be two laps left to run in this one. Been a really good drive from both Laura Davison and Marcus Alexander in this one. Positions one and two. And uh, they've got Wayne Dillon and Leon Cleary behind them, so vastly experienced competitors. The white flag comes out now. So one to go for our race leader, Laura Davison. Heads up into turn number one. Alexander low on the track. Dillon looking for that bit of track. Suddenly it was full. Couldn't use it, so he's got to sit back. Down into the Wiley Tiles pit turn. And it will be Laura Davison that takes out. Heat one for the Super Sedans. Alexander home to second, Wayne Dillon in the third, then clearing. Oh, there we go. This one brought to us by Metro Auto Spares. 
And we are racing! Cow stands on that young gas. Rockets into turn one. Nichols goes right round the long way, gets it done, and here comes Adam Beachy. Keep an eye back there, Wayne Sonners. He's also looking racy. Beachy up to second, Howell back to third. It's Dave Nichols starting to stretch the left. Yeah, well, Dave's aware of the fact he needs to get away in oh. there. Gen 5 Dominator of uh, Adam Beachy will be fast if we lose Trippin to the infield. That's a real shame for the youngster. Now, leader though, Dave Nichols. A little quicker than uh, Beachy on the last lap. They put lap number three now, so there's still plenty of time. Super impressed with Alexander. His drive tonight been very, very racy. He's losing 47 now to the infield as well. Lucas Dillon, keep an eye on the gap, first to second, 1.1 second last time, and now it's 1.2, so not much in it, but the gap pretty uh, pretty constant around about that 1.1 1, 1, 1 second mark. Yeah, it certainly is, and we're about to reach the halfway point here in this one, How still coming under a lot of pressure from Sonners and now Robbie Bird, Laura Davidson, by into that uh, front line as well. Donna's stepped up from the Tassie 6 in the Tubers this year and absolutely loving it. Four laps from home, Dave Nichols. So opened up a 1.7 second gap to Adam Beach. That is incredible. Nichols in the Brodick machine. Uh, trouble the here in one. Ryan Sonner's facing the wrong way. Nichols goes around the back of so no drama there. <laughs> I'm wincing just thinking about it. Metro Auto Spares bring us this one with four laps remaining. Dave Nichols in the hot seat. Adam Beach keen to run with him. We go back to Marcus Alexander, Nathan Howell, Robbie Bird, Laura Davidson, and Sonnet. Here comes Laura. The outside of Robbie Bird. Bird though shuts the gate and puts the attack move on Howells as Beachy has a look to the inside of David Nichols. Can he get him? Not yet. Certainly trying. They're working lap number eight. Nichols gets a couple of car lengths. Beachy really good while on the turns. Gen, uh, Gen 5 Dominator working nicely. It's up almost up side by side with Nichols on the run into one. But Nichols high on the track, carrying more momentum through the turns and out on the straights. Working way higher on the track than Beachy. White flag is out. One to go. Beachy trying everything. Tries to get on level turns and Nichols in turns one and two. Now has another look as they run down into the Wiley Tiles pit turn. He won't be able to get it done, I don't think. Oh, really? Really, no. He won. Nichols gets it. From Adam Beachy, Marcus Alexander. Super impressed with him. Adam Beachy buried back in the pack. As is David Nichols right at the back. Nathan Howes alongside him. We go green. Johnson gets away nicely. Dylan. Fall up into turn one. And it's still Johnson. Dylan around the outside. Oh. Go yellow. Involved in junior sedans. Supporting their trophies. Love that. They come around, green flag at the ready. Johnson stands on that loud pedal again. Time gets a better run. Oh! Coming around back to back. Brendan Flint, I think it is. Yep. 75. Tim Johnson. He's got to do it all again. They come around. Green, the lights are out. And racing. Good start there from Johnson. Beachy tries to go with him. Beachy looks to the inside. Beachy grabs the lead. And here comes Nichols. Wow, where did he come from? Back there. <laughs> that was awesome. David Nichols came from nowhere. He started towards the back of this I one. I think he came from Elizabeth Town and got a runner. Currently sits in second. Beachy's folded. He's got a nice handy little break. But now Johnson's trying to fight back on the inside of uh, Dave Nichols. <laughs> Johnson's... Uh, and does. ...new to the division, but gee, I tell you what, he's 
got some speed in this one. He certainly has. And that is uh, no easy feat. Eight-time state champion Dave Nichols in pass there by Tim Johnson. Rookie to the division. And Johnson drives clean, smooth, does an amazing job. And Dave welcomes the ship. He's still holding Nichols at bay. Meanwhile, Adam Beachy has just gone. Tim Johnson holding down second. Dave Nichols back there in third. Wayne Dillon go back to Nathan Howell, Brett Dawkins, Wayne Sonnen, and Pliny at the rear. Meanwhile, Dillon starts to creep up and uh, wants to make this a three-car battle for the minor positions. Here comes David Nichols to the outside again. Nichols with a good run through the Wiley Tiles mid-turn. Will he get him coming off four? Not this time. Wow. He's racing though. He has another go in two. So he's persistent, at least. Here, Johnson side by side. Dylan back on. Oh, Nichols oh. makes a mistake. He might cop up third here. You don't want to fall behind Wayne Dillon because he will make it very, very hard to get back by. We've completed seven laps. Beachy, you don't worry about him. He's gone. He's going to uh, go about his very way at the moment. The battle is the second, third, and fourth between Johnson, Nichols, and Dillon. With two laps to go, this is far from done. Oh, it certainly is far from done. Well, he's pretty much run one and done as far as Adam Beach has gone. He's seen quite flat. The real interest in this one is Tim Johnson, Dave Nichols, and Wayne Dillon. In fact, Johnson now has gapped Nichols by about two and a half car length. Nichols, his last roll of the night time, they fire in the Wiley Tiles big turn. Beach is taking victory. Johnson's going to take a sensational second. Dave Nichols third, Wayne Dillon four, Nathan Howe, Greg Dawson, Wayne Sonnens, and Brendan Flynn. What a great drive there from Tim. And Beachy sets the pace. 25 lap A main brought to us by Think Creative Design Studio. We are green. Beachy stands on the loud pedal. Gets into turn one first. Covers that line. Nichols stays up high on the track. Here comes Alexander. They are almost filling grid formation back in the back. Alexander, Nichols and Lotta in amongst the thick of the action. Nichols still persisting up high. Bit of a traffic jam back in the pack. Sonnen with a lot of work to do. We pick up our leader. It is all Adam Beachy out in front. Great action between the four and the three car. Still fighting like a bag of cats. And it's Lotta back in amongst the thick of the action. Right behind them. And it's a short run back to Wayne Dillon. In behind Wayne Dillon, another short gap back to Robbie Bird. He's got his hands full because Tim Johnson is looking racy. Then it's back to Nathan Howe, Jake Trevor, Brett Dalton, Wayne Sonnen and Brendan Flynn. But our leader, it is all Adam Beachy out in front. Yeah, that dominator did good nicely, isn't it? The Mark 5 is uh, going beautifully at the moment. Second sits with Alexander. Gee, I've been impressed by him tonight. He's been up and about. He's under pressure now from Laura Davis and Dave Nichols is there as well in the three machine. Never, ever discount Dave Nichols. Then it's back to Wayne Dillon, Robbie Bird, Tim Johnson, who's been uh, up and about tonight. Nathan Howes. Front the the wheel. Back up. Yeah. We're set to go with 21 laps remaining. Beachy's our leader. The Dominator doing it nicely. Super impressed with Marcus Alexander tonight in the four car. Laura Davison, though, putting the blowtorch in the back of him as we speak. As is Dave Nichols. Keep an eye on Dave. The eight times Taz champion sitting back in fourth. He won't want to stay there. That is for sure. Then Dylan, Robbie Bird, having a look on the inside there. Gets it done, does he? On the run up into one. Not easy to pass Wayne Dylan. That is for sure. But Bird is making a good fist of it. He certainly is. Oh, oh Lotta. In the back of Alexander. Brings out the caution. Well, it does, it's still green. Morning, she was in a really good third place. As we go back to racing, Beachy is your leader. 
Alexander in second. Now Nichols in third. Robbie Bird had a look at the back of him on the run into one. Couldn't get it done. Back behind him, it's Wayne Dillon. And he gets wide on turn number four. Here comes Johnson. Tim Johnson moves up a spot. Or does he? Dillon fights back on the outside. That's the battle for fifth. Freddy Beachy has controlled the race from the front. Managed to jump out to a one second lead from Alexander last time by. Restart and racing. Beachy in command again. Alexander, hard charging Dave Nichols. And we're back to uh, Robbie Bird. Oh, Bird, you've got Dylan. Johnson, of course, had done all that work to get past Dylan. Now he's got to do it again. Keep an eye on Laura Davidson. We keen to fight our way back towards the front. Put in some big challenges. Speaking of challenges, Nichols getting very racy and gets past Alexander. He moves himself up to second place, and that's a good job by Dave Nichols. Alexander back to third. Robbie Bird now has a look on the inside of Alexander. Out of turn number two, side by side down the back. And Robbie Bird moves up a spot. It's himself up into third. Good result for Robbie Bird. He is on fire in this one. Alexander back to fourth. Then it's Dylan. Tim Johnson. Powell's will be the next one. Laura Davison is eighth. We're working lap number nine. Our leader is Beachy. Untroubled at this stage. Completes the lap. The gap back to second place is two seconds. It's David Nichols at the moment. And uh, he's well clear of Robbie Bird now. Then it's Alexander, back to Dillon, Johnson, Howes, Davison. For the next one, she challenges on the inside of Johnson there. Yes. Looking for a pass, can't get it done. Still plenty going on back in the pack, young Jaden Trippin. Not too far behind those two going at it. As our leader, Adam Beach, is well and truly checked out by him. Just on three seconds, back to Dave Nichols. Robbie Bird staying in contention with Nichols. Not close enough to challenge, but certainly not letting Nichols get away with it at the moment. Nichols holding down a tidy second place. Not uh, able to see which way the beachy has gone, though. Been just coming up to the halfway mark. Now there's 12 laps remaining in this 25 lap journey. Yeah, Beachy still leads the way by 3.2 seconds. So a handy lead to David Diggles. The driver on the move at the moment is Laura Davis. She's got herself up now in position number seven. Remember, a couple laps ago, she had to go to the rear. And she's right with Tim Johnson now and Wayne Dillon. So keep an eye on her in the 61, carrying good speed. Gets up the inside there at Johnson and picks up another spot. Good move. Our leader goes by, another lap completed, he's done 15, problems for uh, Brent Dawkins in 19, second is still Nichols, Bird is still third, then Alexander, Wayne Dillon, Laura Davison now sits in sixth, ain't that, uh, oh no, yeah. she's still sixth, thought she might have got by from Hassan. Uh, so they're in traffic, they're all safely through the traffic, Adam Beach is still holding a massive 3.6 second Gap back to Nichols, Robbie Bird, a further 1.6 seconds. And we go back to Marcus Alexander, Wayne Dillon and Laura Davidson. Right with Dillon now. Oh, Davidson ends up on the infield and she is out. That's a real shame because he's driving beautifully. Keep an eye on our leader though, he's completed 18 of the required 25 laps. And is Adam Beach with David Nichols. Sits in second. Then it's Robbie Bird. Been a really good drive from Robbie Bird tonight. As our leader picks his way through the lap of traffic, it is Adam Beachy. Nichols is second. Bird is third. Then we go back to Alexander. He said it a few times. Been really impressed with this drive tonight in the form machine. Dylan is fifth. Johnson, Trippett, Nathan Howes, Wayne Sonners would be for the last of the cars running. With five laps to go. We certainly are just looking at some of these battles back in the pack and Beachy now coming up on a couple of back markers. He wouldn't know how much 
real estate he has between himself and Ed Second. And he's looking to muscle his way past Nathan Howells. Does so. Beachy in command. He's got a massive, massive gap back to David Nichols. The gap out in four and a half seconds. Working lap 22. That's a big gap. Four and a half seconds. They're in traffic. Beachy has been superb. Dave Nichols. Also got a big gap. Two foot and a half seconds back to Robert Byrne. Marcus Alexander. Well, and Dylan not getting away. As our leader is on his final lap. Let me check it flag time as Beachy powers through the Wiley Tiles pit turn for the final time. Adam Beachy's going to take a sensationally strong win. David Nichols will come home in second. And back to Robbie Bird third. Marcus Alexander. Wayne Dillon rolls with him. And Tim Johnson not too far behind. The rest of those guys were fighting Johnson. Then just up a bit. 